This body worn camera has lots of ways to wear it. We're going to show you how. Thanks for joining us. My name is Dustin McKinney with Wireless Solutions. I'm Marketing and Training Manager here. My guest today is... Ryan Brady, Motorola Solutions Regional Sales Manager. So we're going to go over our different mounting options uh, for the VB400 body worn camera today. But first of all, you mind just giving us a quick, you know, high level overview of the product? Sure, absolutely. This is our flagship model camera. This is a policy driven camera. It has 64 internal uh, gigabytes of storage. Uh, it can be run for up to 12 hours on a single battery charge and that is fully customizable. Uh, ruggedized, it was made for military use. So you oh, know it's gonna oh, be tough. Fantastic. And it can actually go underwater. Mm, so full submersibility. So yep. you know, if someone asks, is rain gonna bother this, right? The answer is no. you're good, right? Yeah, no, rain's not gonna bother this. Cool. So we have a lot of questions um, when it comes to how do we wear it, right? There's a lot of mounting options. But I think one important thing to point out first of all is with the VB400 camera, you have to choose that option at purchase. Uh, we have another option that's out there, it's the VT100, and we have a little bit more versatility after purchase with that product. But the VB400, the mount style is actually a part of the camera housing. Yes. So that's very important to note. So, you know, the goal here is obviously to give a, a, an overview of our different options so that we can make an educated decision when implementing products. And we want so, you, the, the user, to be informed. Exactly. So, uh, without going into detail, at, you know, at a high level, uh, at an individual level, just looking at the back of the cameras, you'll notice that they're actually different on the back of each camera. So, when when you're deciding it, the camera that you purchase, whatever style, that that's fixed. You can't change that out to go to a different style after purchase. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Okay. So, um, with that said, you know, we'll kind of dive into each one, and we'll go one by one here. What our options are. All right, outstanding. So the first one I'm gonna talk about is our close fit. It's one of our most popular. It's close fit because it's really a close fit on pretty much anything you have. Uh, the way that this is typically mounted is we have a magnet inside your vest. This overlays onto the magnet. Our camera goes on, 90 degree rotation, and you're ready to go. There's other options too. If you're using Molly in your workplace, we can also mount this on there. Nice rugged. I, I tell you what people always say, like, oh, it's a magnet. It's really tough to get off. It's a great mm -hmm. option um, if you know that you're gonna take some abuse uh, in your job, if you're gonna have to roll around the floor, if you're gonna be banging uh, around into different areas, tight spaces, mm -hmm. it's a very good option. And that's more of a, I always say, kind of a universal approach to yes. mounting, because it's just it's just a, a flat piece of metal. I mm -hmm. mean, I can run it underneath my shirt here. He's got it right here through through a layer of Velcro, right? Mm -hmm. So, and, and when he says strong magnet, folks, I mean, it's it's yeah, it's it's really strong. You're gonna have to really try to get that off. You gotta slide it to the side to get it off. Yeah, uh, so. I mean, if I was wearing it under my shirt, it would probably rip the shirt before the magnet came loose. I've actually seen that happen. Yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> so fantastic mounting option there. You know, more of a universal approach, and then the Molly strap as well is very nice. Yes, sir. Yep. So, what do, what do we have next? The next we have is our quick release mount. Our quick release mount looks like this in the back. Uh, the quick release has a lot of interesting uh, uses. It was very popular with GoPros um, okay. and the, the mounting options. So really uh, what, what the option is, we have these two little clicks, they slide up in and they lock into the camera. Okay, we offer a lot of different mounting options for this. Yeah, this is uh, something you can mount on the wall and then you can slide it in and it sits there and then you can take it to deploy into a quick release mount. Okay, so so the quick release mount is, uh, it, it'll adapt to uh, the click fast stud, right? Absolutely. So it's more of an adapter piece for a, 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 a broad array of options when we come to the click fast system. Right? Absolutely, yes sir. Okay, mm -hmm. so um, that kind of leads right in. Uh, I'm switching orders here uh, on the click fast system. So the click fast here, it's a fixed stud on the back of the camera, but we have a lot of different options when we come to this. We do have a standard they call it the dock clamp. It's more of a fatter uh, alligator clip. We see it here right on Ryan. Uh, so, you know, that, that adds some of the versatility of being able to clip into a shirt or really any, any pocket or strap that you have. We have several harness options. So we have a three point harness system, you know, obviously both on the sides and then one strap that's gonna go up on either side of your shoulder. We have a full four point body harness, shoulder harness. So a lot of, a lot of um, 
functionality there depending on, on, on what type of harness system you want. Um, we do have uh, this screw in mount, so you know that applies to the quick release system as well, but we could screw this into a desk or stationary, really anything, right? Or yeah. if you want to get crazy, you can screw it right through your, through your clothes, right? Or through your vest if you, you have could. a thicker vest. So, you could, yep. You know, if, if we're looking for the most rugged or um, least breakaway option, I'm trying to figure out how to say that there, the, the screw in option uh, um, for the click fast system is, is great as well. Yeah. And then we also have the alligator clip. So this is um, pretty much it for, for this style. It, you buy the camera, and you're locked in. Yeah. So uh, that's good and bad, right? Mm -hmm. Depending on how you want to standardize your rollout. But uh, this is a, it's a pretty nice clip. It'll swivel here. I see it swivel, so you can you can wear it. You know, however however you need to. If you have a pocket here vertically, or if you want to run it in between two pockets on a button down, uh, you could run it through a, a Molly strap or a, an epaulet strap or a mm -hmm. Molly strap on a vest. So we do have some versatility here, but you know you're still locked in, right? Yeah, so you are. You yeah. got the alligator clip. That's all you're ever going to have. So. That's one of the things to keep in mind, which is really why we push educating yourself on what your multiple options are before you're choosing the mount option, right? Yeah, the mounting option is just so important. It's critical. We've had a lot of people come to us that are excited about the purchase, but they're unsure on this part. And it is a very important decision. We want our, we want our customers to understand that uh, it's not switchable. Once you buy a camera and uh, one option, it can't go switch to another option. So if you buy the alligator clip and then later you're like, hey, we would like these other ones, it's too late, Yeah, unfortunately. But, you know, one thing to keep in mind too, it's not like you have to get all of the same system, right? It's true. You, you got different people in different workforces that may want different things. They still use the same charging accessories. They still use the same video manager software. Absolutely. So it, it's all, you know, still, still, it's still all together. I mean, it's, it's a self-contained system. So, you, you know, you don't have to choose one for every camera. Right? Correct. Yes, yeah. sir. There's, there's so many different options for so many different uh, jobs. Mm -hmm. You know, and again, I wear my, I wear the vest today. I mean, this could be a utility worker. This could be a security guard. Mm -hmm. But again, we have so many people that need cameras that are dressed like this school yep. personnel uh, that would dress like this every single day. So you have to consider that when you're making your option for your camera type. Perfect. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions about body worn cameras, please leave a comment below. Like what you saw? Remember to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for more videos about body worn cameras and two way radios.